Hi, my name is Dustin, and today on The Barrel. Port Charlotte 18 year single malt scotch whiskey. I am so very excited to try this. The brand new 18 year from Port Charlotte, part of the Brook Lottie Distillery. I have been a huge fan of Port Charlotte heavily peated whiskeys, uh, really since I first started getting into drinking whiskey. The 10 year is an absolute staple in not just Isla Scotch or Scotch, but all of whiskey. I think everyone's gotta have a bottle of the 10 year. But this was just released uh, this year in 2024. Uh, oh, jeez. Sorry, my dog Isla just had a little issue with a commercial upstairs. When I saw that they were coming out with an 18 year, I just, I, I had, I had to, I had to do it. Their 10 was like such a part of my uh, peated scotch um, sort of experiences. It's one of those scotches that not only I'm sure tastes great and I want to taste great, but it also just has a sentimental value to me, just having been one of the ones that, that really kicked off my love for whiskey in general and taught me to appreciate the craft that is uh, whiskey making and in this case heavily peated whiskey making. So um, I have not yet opened this or had this which is going to be a first on this channel. We're just going to get some first impressions. Oh man. So obviously a pretty iconic bottle, short, stout, dark green glass on the front here, Port Charlotte. Isla single malt scotch whiskey. Um, interesting it doesn't say heavily peated um, in the larger letters. I think on the other bottle it does. Uh, I think it's uh, over there. But anyways, uh, 18 years in oak casks. 2024 limited release of 6,000 bottles. Get it while you can. Heavily peated, sorry, it does say heavily peated just in smaller letters. Conceived, distilled, matured, and bottled by Brook Laddick Distillery, Isle of Isla, product of Scotland. Unchill filtered, natural color, 54.3% and 700 milliliters. Once again, this doesn't feel any smaller than the regular 10 year, which I think is a 750 milliliter. I think I'd, I'd want to do a side by side comparison video anyways, just to see the differences between the 10 and the 18, but might have to do that another time because on the back, of course, we've got the classic embossed glass, not a lot of additional information other than what was on the front. So we might just have to dive right in, but before I do, if you're not subscribed yet, and you'd like to be subscribed, please do so. Click that subscribe button. If you enjoy yourself, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below if you've had good or bad experiences. I doubt anybody's had a bad experience with Port Charlotte, come on. I'm trying to uh, gain at least five subscribers before the end of next year. So anything that you can do to help out with that would be appreciated. Thanks. Ugh, fresh crack. Oh, all right, I'll tell you in a second what that smelled like. Pour a little bit. I'm like giddy excited to try this. In the glass, already just from memory, this is noticeably darker than the 10 year. And uh, one thing in general about Scotch whiskey is the vast majority of Scotch whiskey is aged in used uh, ex bourbon barrels. It doesn't quite extract the same amount of color from the wood, having it been, having it having been used <laughs> before. I'm sure climate maybe has something to do with that as well. Just where Scotland is located. Well, what does a map of the world look like? Where is we? Where is we compared to there? No one can know. Let's see how this smells. Wow, 
That might be one of the most balanced noses I've ever smelled. And I know I'm somebody who drinks a lot of peated whiskey, but even so, that peat is not dominant at all. It's there, but this isn't a, a smoke bomb. It's just like delicately hovering over everything else. But it is initially uh, sweet, like melon, like almost like a, like a cantaloupe or a green melon sweetness. You get some really nice uh, minerally earthy notes. The barley is absolutely there. Everything is just mingling together really nicely. And then just like right on top of everything is that that peat smoke. Um, but it's not like other Isla whiskeys where you put your nose in and it's, you know, a house fire. This is delicate and really well balanced. And I think that age, that extra eight years, even from the 10 year, really mellows out that peat, peat smoke. And that's actually one thing about peated whiskey that I've noticed is that a lot of the time, the younger the peated whiskey, the smokier it is. Time in the barrel often uh, sort of ages out that uh, whatever the smoke phenols are that are still in the liquid. I don't know if they get absorbed into the wood more or what, but I do find if you have an older, such as an 18 year uh, peated scotch, the peat is pretty, pretty mellowed out compared to, to the younger versions. So if you're looking for a peat punch, this ain't your jam. But if you're looking to sit and smell something for an hour and a half, <laughs> this is what you want. I always with, with Port Charlotte too, especially on the 10, and I'm excited to do a comparison. But one thing I, I always get, I don't know if I've seen it listed as a tasting note anywhere before, but like green olive, it's not off-putting, it's not bad. It's just always in there with everything else. I mean, I also happen to like green olives, so I'm sure that helps, but don't think that this only tastes like green olives, but it's it's there for me. Oh, there's some good vanilla coming through now. Just a uh, like fresh vanilla. I should probably drink it and see what it tastes like at this point. Hey, cheers. Holy shit. That's beautiful. As is the case most of the time with peated scotches, the smoke is more apparent on the palate. I, uh, oh, still going. I right away, weirdly enough, it's almost like if somebody would have created a gourmet version of those orange, uh, like circus peanut candies. I don't even know what they're made out of. Is it, it's like marshmallow and sugar or something like that. If somebody were to, to make like a homemade, you know, a craft version of those those peanuts. That is what like right away, that's the first flavor that I got. And then those smoked, I gotta go back in. There's also some fruit, some just like nice fruit sweetness, succulent fruits, like a, almost a, a pear, like a juicier pear, some sort of red fruit, a red berry in there. Maybe a, a not very tart blackberry. I don't know if this is solely aged in ex-American oak bourbon barrels. Let me find out here. 74% refill sherry casks and 26% refill French oak wine casks. So this is fully aged in wine casks then, right? Oh, there you go. That's why it's so sweet and fruity. You get that nice melon, a little bit of those red berries, all just encapsulated by this like mellow balanced smoke. Maybe I had a stew going. Oh my God, it's so good. This was made for me. 18 years, man. What was I doing 18 years ago? I think I was a uh, sophomore in high school. Just right in the thick of high school, baby. This and I have aged together so gracefully. <laughs> One other thing about whiskey that I love, the oldest whiskey that I own is a 33-year Isla Scotch. There's one thing about drinking old whiskeys. I just like to think about what life was like 12 years ago, 16 years ago, 18 years ago, 33 years ago. It's really cool to taste a, a whiskey or taste just a liquid that has aged on earth somewhere for as long as you have, you know. You start to think about what have you become as a person? How 
How does that perhaps correlate to the whiskey in the bottle? It makes it more fun. It keeps like changing. It's like, it jumps from going from like, yeah, like <laughs> sort of a salty green olive to that circus peanut, like sugary sweet, and then like melons some pears, dark red berries, like the like blackberries at one point. Now we're back to just like toasted campfire marshmallow. It just like continues to change and evolve. That's so nice. Happy dude. Unfortunately, this is limited and not cheap, but you want to splurge a little bit, treat yourself. Maybe you got a, a birthday or, uh, you know, something important, celebrating something. It's absolutely worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in next time when I demonstrate how to change your windshield wiper fluid in your vehicle. Very important. All right.